Thank you all for coming today. I am the general fund for Christ United Methodist Church, and we need your tithe. I'd like to go over a couple of points. First, we need to make sure that you are washing your hands at home. Excuse me, sir. Second, These things keep coming in. What are we going to do? Oh, thank you so much. This was actually the next point I was going to bring up. What makes up the general fund, you ask? I'd like to go over that with you. Salary. We are still liking to pay our people here at Christ United Methodist Church to keep us operational. We have internet and phone bills that still exist. We have to make insurance payments. We are still making apportionment tithing to the district and to the conference. All of you have gas and we still have a gas bill to pay. <laughs> We have electricity, which is an ongoing bill that will continue to be whether we have church or not. We also have water and sewage bills that will continue to come in. Those things make up what the church pays on a monthly basis. We have an amount of forty dollars to $42,000 that we have to pay every single month. That is why your tithing is very important to Christ United Methodist Church. I will now take a question from the audience. Is there anyone? Yes. How are we going to pay our bills? I'm glad you asked. How can we pay our bills? Um, there are two ways uh, that are the easiest. One, you can simply write a check. You'll write a check to Christ Indianapolis United Methodist Church at 8540 US 31 South in Indianapolis, Indiana 46227. We will still receive those checks you can still mail those to the church. The other way is for you to actually go online to your bill pay through your online banking and set up the church as a payee. You can send the money directly to the church. It will then cut a check and mail it to the church through your online banking. How would you handle this, you ask? Well, banks are still open, so you can certainly give them a call and they would be glad to help you set that up, possibly even over the phone. I'll take some more questions. Yes. Let me still donate. Um, I just answered that, so you're clearly not listening. Yes, you could still donate. Any other questions? Yes. We still need to tithe. Um, apparently, you haven't been listening to the last few minutes. Tithing is of the utmost importance and what will keep our church afloat during this time. Any other questions? Yes. I can't leave the house, the governor said. I can't go to the bank. That's true. You can't go... You can't leave the house. The governor is correct, and we're not asking you to come to the church at this time. We will communicate that to you at a later date when that's available. However, banks are open, and you can still certainly give them a call to help answer any bank questions, and you can certainly still write checks to the church. Any other questions? Yes. Who do I make the check out to? I'm glad you asked. You will make the check out to... Christ Indianapolis United Methodist Church, and you will mail the check to 8540 US 31 South, Indianapolis, Indiana 46227. Any other questions? Yes. How long do we have to do this? That's a great question. None of us know the answer to that. That's why you would just have to continue writing checks, faithfully giving to the general fund so that we can continue our mission of Christ here at the church. Remember, offering is of the utmost importance and mailing it to the church is how we will survive and we will get through this together. Thank you so much. More to come.